If you should go to Italy, go north and then bear west, and there you'll find an empty plot, a fallow land at rest. Upon that old abandoned plot, a casa once stood tall, with bright arcades and gilded art, and music through the halls. But now Bologna mourns its loss, and Venice cheers its gain. The casa moved from native lands to ne'er return again. For nine long years within the land, Bardici made his name as patron lord of artisans and courtier of fame. But once Bardici looked to left, and then he looked to right and realized his casa grand was not Bologna's height. Tis true the casa was a jewel and pleasure for the eyes, but next to garish, noisy homes its splendor had to buy. And so he started looking for a place to call his home. Firenze was too secular, too pious yet was Rome. But oh, the lands of Venice, now here potential lay, a quiet sort of opulence it tended to display. Against this quiet elegance the casa sure would shine. The only problem was the roads were full of salty brine. But no task was too difficult for the baron's engineers. They swore the casa firm would stand, allaying any fears. They bridged canals and drained the swamps. They raised the mighty walls, and gilded art bedecked the rooms while music filled the halls. And though the casa once was praised by nobles far and wide, its beauty now shines brighter yet, a brilliance none can hide.